is Tim Glenn with Mala Aftermarket. And what I'd like to cover is the exhaust manifold gasket. It's been around a long time, obviously, and changes have been made. So, some of it's material, some of it's hardware, some of it's fasteners, but in the end, it's really all about sealing exhaust. People don't want to hear the noise, so you have to understand while those changes have happened, the technology of gaskets and bolts have changed along with it. So for many years, there was a material that was high temperature and was used in exhaust manifold applications. And that was what we refer to as a two-dimensional gasket. So it has material that is flat and then is put into the application like this one. And as you notice, you can see the fasteners, the bolts, are here adjacent to where the ports are. So what happens in this two-dimensional style application? When you tighten the bolts, the vast majority of the bolt loader, when you tighten or when you torque, is around that exhaust port. So motor starts up, you run, and it gets hot, it gets cold, it gets hot. This material, over time, it could be two weeks or two years, begins to compress. So it starts at 45 thousandths, and then it's 43 thousandths, 40 thousandths. So it isn't as if that the fastener or bolt got loose. It's just there is no more resistance from the gasket. So as a result of that, and you can see it in this application where you see it tainted and colored, so it's not tight anymore. So you end up with leakage. Over time, maybe 20 minutes, half hour, the old style heavy exhaust manifold would heat up. So all that mass would eventually get warm. And as it expanded, it moved towards the cylinder head because of that expansion and would not really, but give the illusion of getting tighter because simply you made the gap smaller. The manifold has expanded. So you drive the motor, the noise would go away. And while you were driving, and while the motor was warm, you'd be okay. So that technology lasted for a long time. The standard mechanism back then is if you had a leak, you'd tighten the bolts again. And they were big bolts. So they'd be a 3 8 bolt that you'd tighten, and then you'd tighten, and then you'd tighten. And then at some point in time, there was no more recovery. It couldn't expand enough. The gasket couldn't recover enough for you to seal it. So you end up with exhaust leak. So that went on for a pretty long time, maybe 25 years. Well, as engines began to get lighter, so we changed to aluminum, components were redesigned to take weight away. One of the things that changed pretty dramatically, if you look at a motor from the 70s and you look at a motor from any 2000s years, they went to a plate header style so the mass of that exhaust manifold was a lot less. It was no longer going to expand at that rate. So to overcome that, engineers on the gasket side used a multi-layer steel strategy, which is simply an embossment. So it's hard to see, I'm sure, but in this case, the metal is embossed, stainless steel, so it can take high temperature, and it recovers along with the exhaust manifold and the fastener. So it never really gets loose or in this particular case compresses because the spring mechanism that makes this mechanical bead work follows that exhaust manifold. So when the engine's cold and it's further away from the cylinder head, that mechanical bead is literally pushed out at that point as that manifold expands and moves towards the cylinder head, it compresses a bit. But the secret here is, because it's a spring style, it manages to stay engaged with both surfaces. So that's really the secret on this exhaust manifold style, and it's pretty popular today. So while this technology may have been popular and we lived with it, this technology is far more reliable.
So we at my lab chose, in each and every case where these are available, we give them to the aftermarket so they can use this new OE technology. The customer no longer has to worry about coming back and complaining because he hears some exhaust noise when he starts the motor up. The other thing that you'd notice in this particular case is they really haven't moved the fasteners away from the ports, but they've gotten smaller. So this allows them to use less bolt load, smaller fasteners, and achieve better results. So while it may seem different, and it is, it's really more effective. So when the, the, you hear the story that you got to use this because it's thicker and it'll over all those imperfections, well, that may be fine and dandy. The problem with it is the area that really seals around the exhaust port. That's really not what's going on. This part over here can rust all day long. It don't do anything. It just merely holds this in the right position so it can be installed easier. So while it may be thinner, it actually seals far better because you always have the load around the exhaust port, which makes you happy, your customer happy, and at the end, it's certainly much more reliable. My name is Tim Galama from Molly Aftermarket, and I certainly appreciate your business, and thanks for listening.